So it's Tuesday morning and my good friends at Rhino came out to help me set up the big wing mower. So it's a one-time setup. It's kind of complex because all different tractor heights uh, are not the same and it's such a big mower that you want to really be efficient so that you're not wasting any horsepower and chopping into the ground, not cutting evenly and molting right. So the guys are helping me get everything trimmed, they're helping Brian and I, and we're going to take it out and give it a try. So I'm really glad that the guys from Rhino came out. You won't believe the bonehead thing that I did. There's a little latch on there that you lock on there for when you're traveling it that keeps the back end up. I've been mowing with it, <laughs> with the latch on. I guess I probably should have read the instructions, but that's all right. The guys uh, got me all sorted out. So we're gonna go down here and try it, how it works properly now that it's all adjusted. It occurred to me though that I've never used the PPO in your tractor before. Oh, it's very simple. You wanna show you how? Yeah. All right, piece of cake. So we just gave Brian a crash course in uh, PTO tractor management, right? Yes, sir. He's going to do all right, don't you think? He's a good man. There's no doubt he'll do all right. This is a cool... <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> that thing looks like it belongs in the space program. Uh, you feel comfortable with that height? Turn yeah. It all right, so we're getting ready to start the flex swing here. Brian's engaged in the PTO. That's a lot going on there, huh? It is, it is. Okay, so he's going to run it up to 540 RPMs. And it's smooth, it doesn't vibrate. Sounds like a jet engine. goes. How was that, Brian? Oh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, I'm impressed at how much it cuts in a single pass. You know, you come back here and you do two passes and, you know. That's 24 feet yeah, for two it's, passes. It's huge, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is oh, a single this is pass. Gonna be tremendous. It, we've been really concerned about wildland fire and we haven't had the, we just haven't had the means to mow this. It just, with a regular mower, it's just, it's not possible. It's just too, too much. Unless you had days and days. big yeah, fire. In this immediate area in the last couple of years during the fire season. All right, I'm gonna go get the drums. Always a threat. What a fun day we had yesterday. Oh, and special thanks to Josh and Rick, who actually Josh came out all the way from Missouri to help us to set up this uh, flex wing mower, and we uh, really, really appreciated that. You know, it was kind of funny. We'd never met Josh or Rick before, and uh, when. <laughs> I wasn't sure how the morning was going to start out, you know, because they showed up, and I, I think, I think both these guys are used to working with professionals and <laughs> large accounts and farmers and stuff, and not sure what they thought of, uh, to, <laughs> of Brian and I, and it didn't help matters that when, the, for, you know, as soon as they showed up, we start going over the equipment that we'd uh, messed up one of the wheels on the rotary mower, and uh, we hadn't, when they weren't able to get that fixed, and then there was some mention of. Uh, uh, Brian being from San Francisco and then his moccasins. And <laughs> I wasn't sure how the day was going to end, but man, we had a great time. Uh, end up spending the whole day with us, and um, Mrs. W cooked us a nice lunch. We had a beautiful lunch um, uh, out on the picnic, and 
and I got to talking and then about all their hobbies and uh, we just had a really 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 great time um, even ended up uh, they took us to dinner in town so again special thanks to Rhino for all of that help and we really really do appreciate it and this has uh, been real a b- real blessing to us uh, this equipment to help us to do these all of these things and to manage this large homestead property and and our stewardship forest and to help protect our our home from wildland fire it's um uh, you know th- these things will greatly greatly contribute to uh, to that and our to our safety so we're really really grateful and I, so I do have uh, do have some exciting news. So when I agreed to um, partnership with Rhino on this, I guess on this venture, uh, one of the things that I suggested at the very onset of this was, you know what I'd like to do is is I'd like to issue you guys a challenge. I want to come up or I probably will have some sort of a need of a specialized piece of equipment on our homestead uh, to do the things we need to do because there's a lot of things in forestry related with three-point hitches and traditional tractors there's not a lot of stuff out there and uh, and they really jumped at the chance of that so I have uh, submitted a couple of um, uh, challenging uh, engineering problems that they're working on and uh, we're going to have um, hopefully a big announcement on that soon so that, that's going to be real fun and um, that's all I can say right now don't you love it when YouTubers do that I've got this exciting news but I can't tell you alright well thanks for watching and um, well, I guess that's it we'll see you guys on the next video <laughs>